All right, now you you've been out for two weeks. How long have you? Why were you in jail? And how long were you in there? I got down. I went to jail because a dog got kicked in. And I was around with some drawers and shit and a gun, and I was on probation. So I was on probation, so I had to goddamn bag up my time. But they had fully revoked me. They had, I had like 15 years. Y'all know what I just was on. But I got my cases overturned, though. Y'all, I got my cases overturned, so now I'm back, you feel me? Okay. So you originally sentenced to 15, and you did how long? Like what, two? No, this time I just did eleven months. This time, but I didn't did. I didn't had. I was on a twenty split, four years. I did four years, then three years, then two years, then one year, then these eleven months. Okay, and I see you said you spent damn near half your life in jail. Yeah, you just heard me add the numbers up. Then, how long is that total? Said like like eleven. And you're twenty four years old, man. That's that's crazy. Um, and you and in jail, you stabbed a guy three times. You stabbed three different people. Yeah, yeah, I did a whole lot of shit. I did, I just stabbed way more, way, way more people. They don't bled on my dead brother grave, like way more than that. Like hell, yeah, yeah, I stabbed three niggas one day. Like, on blood, <laughs> I did that on blood. That's no cow. You know no cow. You rap. That was real thing. So, you stabbed three different people for one of your homies. Nah, it was on some most shit. I ain't gonna talk about that right now. But it was okay. on some most shit. And you got an extra year in jail because of that. Oh no! See that what you talking about? That was behind Duke of Wild. That was behind a nigga named Duke of Wild. That was you talking about. That last time I was locked up, I had got an extra year behind that. Yeah, some nigga had took his phone and stabbed him, you know, took his throwing shit, sent him to the hospital. All type of shit was going on with him. And, you know, I went off. I stabbed some niggas up by them. Yeah, that one I got an extra year. Yeah. So, <clears throat> respectfully, do you feel like you're institutionalized? Like going to jail, that's nothing. Like you're used to it. Yeah, hell yeah, I'm used to it, but nah, I'm still brazen though. Like Kevin Gates said, you know, I feel like them wild talking to me, that type shit. Yeah. Yeah, I'll be on that type time for real. You start, when was the first time you went to jail? What, 12, 13? Nah, like 10 years old, broke in the stove, broken room to go, bullshit. Rooms to go. Yeah, I, just Ryan, they all broke in the factory though, they had a factory. I was just riding the golf cart and sitting in that hole, fucking with the little thing, you little fucking shit. Just having fun for real. Them folk locked my ass up. <laughs> so wait, <laughs> you broke in the rooms to go, like just riding go karts, not not really stealing anything, but just having a good time. Yeah, I was fucking shit up too though, knocking shit over too though. I was, I was fucking shit up, like busted a little snack machine and shit. They're bad as fuck. Man, you wild as hell, man. Now I've been on probation there <laughs> since. And. You didn't finish high school, I'm guessing. Hell no, nah, I ain't making it to high school. I what, is your mom, what, what is your mom saying at this time when you're in and out of jail? She she in out. <laughs> <laughs> she <laughs> both her in and out that motherfucker. She can't say that. And then your dad is in jail too, so your whole family's kind of dysfunctional. Yeah, 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 yeah. Daddy got life in and he doing life. You know, free my daddy, that big con. You also said that you would sign a million dollar deal. You'll sign for anything if you can get your dad out of jail. Is that, is hell, that real? Hell yeah, that's real. On blood, that's real. Hell yeah, why not? Money ain't shit to get. That's what's up. Yeah. So when you're young getting released, right, where are you staying at? Because your mom and dad, they're both in jail. Where are you staying at when you're, you know, when you're a teenager and you get out? Shit, I was fucking with my grandma. My grandma was fucking with me. My mama, mama, though. Not my dad and mama. And my dad and mama, you know, she do her thing too, you know. But like, I would stay on my mama, mama though. I stay with my aunt Tony, you know. But that, that shoot at my aunt Nisha house sometime. But I end up shooting her son. That was my cousin, so I, you know, they all type of shit going on. Whoa, wait, wait. You shot your cousin? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. 
It's like on accident? Nah, like on purpose. <laughs> Was it like a was it like a family or like was it an argument? Like can you take us through that situation? Nah, that was like him and my dad, some shit with him and my dad, you know. He had got down, some money came up missing. I'm just gonna say that some money came up missing there with my dad, you know, he was locked up. You know, he had like they gave him life and shit, so I was tripping already. And he rent that to me, you know, I had with the whoop. Ended up paralyzing him and shit. Well, now he he back now though he back walking and shit. He's straight. We straight now though. You know we cool. Okay, so let me get this understood. And if you don't want to talk about it, we don't have to. So basically, your dad came. Your dad money came up missing, and your dad thought your cousin stole his money. So you went after your cousin. Nah, I ain't just gonna say my dad thought that or sent me at nobody like that. But now nah, you know you read between the lines though. Yeah, straight up. So. What's our relationship? But right I now? went to jail for that shit too. I went to I went to prison for that shit. That's how I went to prison when I was fifteen years old. Man, yeah. this the craziest. I I interview a lot of rappers, man. You might have the craziest story. Yeah, for real, and then I got out and caught a murder. Soon I got out. That brave. So you okay? So you shoot your cousin. He gets paralyzed. What is our relationship like afterwards? Shit, he can't. I ain't gonna. I fuck with him. He, you know, we straight. We straight. You know, cause I used to look up to him when I was young. You feel me? Like, uh -huh. I used to look up to him. Like, my daddy picked him on type shit, you know? He was like, my daddy treated him like that was his son, you know? And I was like the nephew for real. Right. Yeah. But so, shit. you're 15 years old. You shoot your cousin. You go to jail. Nah, again for I another shoot, murder. I shoot my cousin when I was 13. 13. Yeah. And then and then you go back when you're fifteen for another murder? No, I get locked up when I'm fourteen. I went on a run. They caught me when I was like fourteen. I I I got out when I was goddamn turning seventeen. I, I was like sixteen when I got out. Then I then I was turning seventeen. Then now I ain't get locked up for the murder. Then I got locked up for a robbery and attempted murder. But I ain't need to do that shit though. My partner my partner did and I ain't dead. He did that shit. But I just took the case for him though. And I had to do three years on that shit. Then I got out, and like a month and a half, I had caught a murder then and went right back. So I'm knowing every time you're going to jail, people are knowing who you are, right? Yeah, people know me. My dad, an OG, my dad, an OG ass yeah, nigga. Like, nigga know my family, my uncle, son. You no, know, he had them bricks. He was got down running the fed, throwing bricks out the one and shit. Like he in the fed now. My uncle gave the cue. Yeah, I freak gave the cue. If I don't say that, that boy might kill me. Like he been scratching me, scratching me pretty night for the song. Free gave the cue though. But like, yeah, my whole family, like we with the shit for real though. Like everybody. So the last time you go to jail, I mean, you're a popping rapper now. You go to jail to do this 11 months. Is it pressure? Like when you go in there, are people picking at you? Like what, what's the experience like the last time you went to jail? Shit, boy, for real though, I ain't even lying though on blood, like on, on the gang. Like, I, I run that bitch for real. Like, you can ask the police if they worked out, like, for real. Like, I really run that bitch. They just had me on 24 hour lockdown. Like, I had to bathe there three days. Like, I couldn't even come out 24 hours, you know what I'm saying? Like, they told me I'm sending hits and all this type shit. Like, you know, nigga don't play with me. Nigga don't play with me for real. Nigga might talk about me, but nigga don't play with me. Not Wait, in that, not you, in that jail. You you said you 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 took a bath every three days. Yeah, every three days on blood. But you know it probably been like go a day then skip a day. But then it be so much shit going on. Like they might hit some in the colds and niggas getting into a fight. They won't even let her take nothing. You know they will just handle us fucked up for real. Like that's what they got going on. Now. So how do you keep your hygiene? How do you keep your hygiene up? Like do they give you deodorant or? Is there certain things you got to do to keep, you know, your body right from smelling a certain way? Water now. They gonna get your ass a little bar, bar, bar of soap. They be so small on my soul. When you you can't do wash your hand with that hoe about three, four times. You can't bathe with that hoe. They gonna get your ass a little bit of ass, white gel toothpaste. You ain't finna use that shit. But I had a lot of hygiene already. I bought all that shit. So when I went in there, I was straight on that. I used to bathe in the sink and shit. You know, I ain't tripping. I ain't fucked up about it. Right. So they got you in a hole. You're doing 24 hours a day. Does that drive you insane? 
No, no, you know, I'm freestyling and shit, I'm rapping, then I done did so much time in jail, that shit don't fuck with me. No, that shit don't, you know, I've been doing that since I was a little nigga. You know, because us humans, we're not meant to sit in the box 24 hours a day. We got to see sunlight. We got to be able to speak and interact with people. Like, none of that shit made you, like, go insane at all at a period of time? No, nah, I, I got mad a lot of time, but the only, way, the only reason I was getting mad, it went by me being in the cell. It was by me not taking a shower when I really wanted to take a shower. And them hoes be like, nah, y'all can't take nothing day to jail on lockdown. And they be like the third day. And a nigga be like, man, nigga tired of that shit, so a nigga get the bucket throwing shit out that bitch, trying to hit them whole cups of water, piss, all that shit, you know. Y'all. So how were you handling, like, the commissary? Are you having to, to depend on people outside of jail to, to send you money, or are you hustling inside? Like, yeah, I was hustling. I was hustling. I was hustling like a motherfucker. <laughs> like love. what? Like tattoos or like like what? Nah, some, some more type shit, some shit, you know. Can't talk okay. about. No, nah, for sure. I was straight though. I was straight myself. Then I had my brother D boy. You know, D boy gonna keep a nigga straight. D boy right there over there in the corner. You know, he's just yeah. be cooling. 